So I'm thinking of mounting my step-down converter as well as a breaker box or fuse box. Kind of side by side like this <clears throat> to put behind the seat. So I'll kind of have it right here underneath the controller, but kind of pointing backwards. I'll have to come up with some sort of switch system. I thought about doing a like a switch pro but uh, typically those have much bigger boxes and a lot more, you know, take a lot more space. So I might just do this with some simple rocker switches up here. Alrighty, so we got these connected to this panel. So yellow, and I guess these two go to load, these two to battery. So I'm probably going to disconnect this positive directly after the contactor. That way it's off. Uh, when the ignition isn't on, and it will just power uh, after I turn the key. So I won't be able to do like accessory or anything like that, but I don't really care. Alright, so I'm looking at putting some lights on here. Probably gonna do something like that, just out here in front of the shock. I want them wide ish, so I don't want to put them on the inside. Um, so we'll just weld up some brackets and get those mounted and see how it looks. This one came with a flipped lens. I think I want the diffuser on the outside. They're both oriented the same, so I think I can just pop these Allen screws off and pop the lens around. We'll try. now I guess we'll see how bright they are in the at night writing <laughs> so this was the original sprocket that was on the motor I replaced it for this so this was a 17 tooth this is a 12 tooth I feel like it almost doubled the acceleration. Maybe not technically, but definitely that's what it feels like, which is nice. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when we upgrade the rear sprocket. So this is the new sprocket I got. It's a 54 tooth. I'm gonna be going from the 44 tooth, which should give me a lot more torque, less high speed, but uh, you know, as far as spinning the tires, should do much better.
Ha, ha, ha.